right now we're gonna play some Alan Wake 2. Going normal. I should have. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. story there are only victims and monsters and the trick is not to end up as either but trapped by the genre we are all ripped to pieces along the way this is not the story i hoped it would be this is not the ending i wanted this story will eat us alive this story is a monster And monsters wear many faces. the nudity off. Not people. That sucks. Where'd he go?
What the fuck was that? What the fuck is that? kiddo how are you i'm good mom how are you this trip might take a little longer than i thought i'm sorry i've been gone so much lately logan oh my god mom it's not your fault people get all murdery what happened just work stuff right well dad and i are just watching the latest episode of night springs here mom it's so good <coughs> no spoilers I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan? I will. Brooding? Bye, kiddo. How's brooding? Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. 
time to get to work. Good graphics. I think. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Invitation. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Okay, where'd I go? From I should here? take a look at that map. Where's the map? First map. This is my first playthrough, by the way. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over You're the case. You're half right. Anderson. Huh. What, I got pissed off. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I... I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... When are those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal Mulligan. Right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Morton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Were there any witnesses? Yeah. Couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence down the hill towards the lake around the old convenience store you can't miss it everything's been closed since the area was fenced off the store the campground all of it they got it thornton before we get to the crime scene there's time to review the facts of the case so far my version of the mind palace technique to sift through clues and work the case building the mind place again for each case using each field office as a model in my head the facts are on the board everything we know about the previous murders 
Worth taking another look. All victims reported missing. 2010, no other commodity. Okay, let me navigate the board. Uh, okay. The previous murders. Uh, slight difference in the murders. Bloating only. Commodity in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma, exposure to water, postmortem. <clears throat> Just gonna zoom in further. the profile. Nope. Get to the crime scene, meet Deputy Thorin at the general store. Okay, well... Oh, exit. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the Hey, Casey. Scene. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. So I wonder which one's scarier, this or Alone in the Dark? Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. Oh, fumble. Look at that. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Ooh, drugs. Nope. What fuck is he? I did. Where are you? Which is hot. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Huh. dark in here at all.
Welcome back, Anderson. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Fuck that, I know he's going backwards. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the oh, they look like the same the guy. On, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton is joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Step body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Um, okay. How the... From the file? No. Still will know. Like, okay. Why is it so difficult? Oh my god. Crap my god. Oh, there we go. Sure. What the fuck? Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. 
I'm trying to drop this damn thing. So difficult. I can go over here to drop it. Like, what's up? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Foot removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders, but this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. our victim who killed him need to find more clues someone was drinking beer they spent time here waiting someone left in a hurry knocked the tripod over was it for a camera Not here. later. I don't know, I don't know any detective work, man. Was he killed here, or brought here after? For display? Looking for a camera, I don't see it. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Okay. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters.
Hey, nothing. What's up? Don't know where the fuck to go. Oh. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. No. Nope. Okay, I figured I'd just now achieve this. Oh, much better. It's his blood. Oh. Man. Keep trying. Man. This shit sucks. Oh, thank God. Footprints indicated killers. multiple killers. Quite okay. the party. Uh huh. Not that far. So you knew our victim. together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Hmm. How do I get past this? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Hmm. All right, I'm trying to look in the sky. I think that's everything. For yeah. now, at least. Mm -hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it.
Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Hmm. Order to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Let's think about this for a second. Profiler. Using her intuition. Uh, intuition. So I bet can now discover new clues. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. <coughs> Flick the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there, too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Like the switch. It goes click. Lights. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. A lot of exploring to do in this game. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. Hey, 
Let's get back to work over here, can we? Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Nice talking to you, too. Ooh. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Wash hands, take chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. Okay. Wash hands. Nope. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Hmm. Let's triangle our own place. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano of the sinkholes and leaves in the wake. But what is that's not true? Or is there something else, something less natural and more man-made, intentional? Ice in the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is high in a place beneath the calm. Surface lies a secret machinery ready to activate Activated at the press of a button. And the peak of the button, they're in the big house by the lake preparing, I know. Waterline, Wakandra, is made from volcano lava. Second draw, waterline, engineered structure, strange machines. Uh -huh. I think I found in here. Jump out the window. I feel like I'm in this area. This Game's so intensive. Hey, look! What can I find? Oh my god. Um. Wash hands. I can't wash hands here or there. Can I get this? Ah, uh, no. Flush the toilet. Probably stinks like hell in here, poor girl. Kick rocks. What are we here? What are we here already, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the ridi- A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Triangle. The game that won it in. It goes on and on, my friend. What the? Huh. Why is it here? Hello? Hello? You there? Yeah. Huh. Can you hear me? Okay, never mind, I screwed up. All right. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies.
This mug always cheers me up. Dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Writing this down in case it happens again, and I forgot, I got the feeling, again, it hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I finished my, my hema. I don't know what the fuck's a hema. On the porch of the trailer, I got in the car and drove chasing it. Starry night, 
not so much mo- not much moon is expected it led me past bright falls to calder lane i tried to find the right spot the right emotion the right thought the combination to have it all a line to make it happen terrified it would it didn't not this time frustrated but re- reveal relieved I scan the sky for the shapes of the objects, nothing but when I blink repeatedly. I think I saw the afterimage of an octahedron in faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Brighton. Flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. He's still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find.
Mitch told me today that her family moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her a better school, get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her, she said, thanks, fucking kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night again, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here, like I always do, instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyways, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going back there tomorrow. With better gear, I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Oh, damn it. I think I caught some of our... I think I caught some of our Dan conversation on the mic. 